welcome viewers to another episode on ASUG 12 exams. So this is the third episode in which we are extensively revising the November 2022 Mathematics Paper 1. So in the first two episodes we covered question 1 through 4. So in this episode we are going to focus on question 5 and 6. So let us move straight to question 5. Shared open bracket a union B complement cross bracket intersection C on the diagram in the answer space below. So what does the question requires us to do? The question requires us to shade the region represented by A union B complement intersection C. So union means combining then complement means what is not in that set then intersection means what is common in the two sets or three sets that you are comparing. So if you look at uh, this uh, question, the easiest way to answer this question is to use the distributive law of uh, sets. That's in the easiest way. There are two methods that you can use. We are, I'm going to post the second method on our YouTube channel under the uh, playlist uh, sets. So I'm going to put two methods so that you are able to assess which one is a much more easier for you. However, I'm going to go with the easiest so that you don't waste so much time in your exam. Remember, your strategy is better than your strength. You need to have a strategy, minimize on the time, reduce the time that you spend on the uh, questions to ensure that you finish and you counter check your answers. Once you get the principles, you be able to spend less than half the time I'm spending to explain. So the uh, distributive law of indices uh, implies that if we have a union here, what it means is uh, this union will be distributed within uh, this intersection. So what this tells us is we are going to have uh, a intersection C. So this intersection goes within uh, A. So we have uh, this case. Then this union comes here. So we have a union there, then B complement, then intersection e, C, like that. So what is happening is this union which is in between here is the one that comes here. Like the law of a distributive in multiplication. So A plus B, then multiply by C. Okay? Multiply by C. This is the same as AC, which is this intersection, then plus BC. So this plus is a union. Then AC is more like a multiplication. We are saying what is found in A and C, then you add it with found in the intersection in B complement and C. Then you find that answer. That's the implication. So this one is the same as A intersection C, then union basically B complement intersection C. So let us start with this. What is it that is found in A and C at the same time? It's this uh, region. Okay, that's it, the region. Then we combine that with what is uh, found in the intersection set between what is not in B and what is in C. So B complement is everything outside the B everything outside B, excluding B. So anything outside B, then we intersect with what is in C. This tells us it's just C excluding B. So this is this region. If you see, it will be this region excluding B. C, the entire C excluding B. So once I share this one, you discover that we are going to get this region. So this region will be answer. So, even using the second method, you'll be able to arrive at this same answer. Except that the other one will need more explanation. So, I'm going to uh, give you uh, another video, which will be uh, under the playlist assets, which will give you two methods. They'll follow concurrently to each other. But if this is clear, then that's fine with you. Let us look at question 6. A company declared a dividend of... 2.75 quacha per share. A businessman invested 560 shares in the company. How much dividend did he get? 
So the question is basically for us to determine how much dividend did this person get who has invested 560 shares in this company who is giving 2.75 kwacha per share. So for everyone who owns one share, they are paid 2.75 kwacha. So how much is paid to someone who owns 560 shares? So this question is just trying to assess your ability to add multiply numbers with decimal places. That's the concept behind. Otherwise, it's a straightforward question. So what we know is one share pays 2.75 kwacha. Then 560 shares pays how much? Which is x. So it's just a matter of multiplication here. Once you do that, you discover that what you are saying x is equal to 560 multiplied by this. So it is 560 multiplied by 2.75. And this is in kwacha. The answer will be in kwacha because these shares are going to cancel. We are going to have x share is equal to 560 shares multiplied by 2.75 kwacha. The shares are going to cancel out. So what is trick here is just a matter of multiplication. That's what is trick. So what you do is when you are multiplying these numbers, what you do is take note of the decimal places. How many decimal places do we have? We have two decimal places here. That's what we have. So then let me just multiply as if I'm not here dealing with decimal places. So we are going to have 560 multiplied by 275. 275. Momentarily we ignore the decimal uh, places, the two. So we are going to recover them after we find the answer. That's much more easier way to deal with it, decimal points. So we have 5 times 0, 0, 5 times 6 is 30. We write 0, card 3. 5 times 5 is 25 plus 3. The one we carried, we have 28. That's the first round. Then the second round now, so we are done with 5, we come to 7. 7 times 0 now in this case, we are going to have a 0 here. Then 7 times 6 is a 42. We light 2, we cut over 4. Then 7 times 5 is 35 plus 4, which is 9. Then we go to the last one, which is in this case that one. Then to be 2 times 0, we are going to have here 0 in this line. Then 2 times 6, it will be a 12, we cut 1, then 2 times 5 is going to be 10 plus 1 is going to be 11. So we have that, then we add. So we are going to add down here like this, so this is 0, then again here down, which is 0, then we have 8 plus 2, which is nothing but 10, we cut 1, then 2 plus 9, which is 11 plus 2, 13 plus 1, which is 4. The one that we carried from 8 plus 2. Then we are going to have 3 plus 1. So it will be 4 plus the one that we carried from 2 plus 9 plus 2 plus 1, which was 14. So it's going to be 5 here. Then 1 plus 0. There is nothing on top there. It's just going to be 1. Then remember, I said we need to recover these two decimal places. So it's going to move 1, 2. So our answer is here, which is uh, 1,540 as the answer. So this is uh, the quickest way and the safest way to deal with decimal places of large numbers. So I will answer this question to get the two marks. Thank you viewers for watching uh, this uh, video. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing to our channel because of course so much content for you. So once you subscribe and go to our YouTube channel, you'll discover that we've got extensive exam revision where we've covered questions in mathematics, physics, and chemistry. Then we are also adding more subjects. We've got also another section which is topic-based exam question revisions. This is the best section for you if you are facing any challenges in any specific topic. Remember, for you to master anything, you need to know how questions are asked. And we give you tips and tricks by giving you extensive explanation to each and every question.